Hi guys, this is Michael from the Piano Technician Academy, and today we're going to talk about how hammers affect the sound of your piano. So right here I have a three-note action model from Renner. Um, these are good friends of ours. They make most of the high-end actions and most high-end pianos. Um, but they also make hammers, shanks, flanges, basically everything you see here. So I personally, um, as a piano technician, prefer kind of a more warm, velvety, rounded tone, um, a little, little bit more color as opposed to kind of a bright, biting, crisp, loud tone. Um, so I actually really like these hammers. These are called Renner Blue Points. Um, Renner makes a bunch of different hammers that are awesome. Um, there's other companies that um, make hammers as well. Abel is another uh, company that we really like. Ronson makes hammers. There's a bunch you can find anywhere. But as of right now in this video, we're just going to talk about these particular hammers that we have on this action model. So first, what, what we want to take note of, this is called the, the core. Um, in this particular piano, this is, looks like a mahogany core. And then you have this inner felt and this outer felt. And if you look closely enough, you can see that this outer felt is, um, there's fine, fine layers of um, wool, basically, that's going around this uh, core. And now, in a hammer, the hammer is pressure wrapped. So if this is the core of the hammer, this felt is pressure wrapped like this. So if, and then they staple it on either side, and they also use glue to hold it down. So if this was your hammer and you took a razor blade and you cut it, your hammer would instantly go and open up. That's very important. And the reason that we do that is because as this hammer hits this note, this string, over and over and over again for years and years and years, that felt's getting harder and harder and harder and more and more compressed. So this, and what that does is it makes the piano brighter. So what um, pressure wrapping of felt on a hammer does is it allows us to stick needles into this, these fibers in different spots and that kind of opens up the fibers themselves, which in turn makes the fibers softer and makes the piano more warm. Now this is a high-end hammer, so this means we can see these rings of, of wool basically all the way around this hammer. On cheaper pianos, um, they're going to use uh, shorter hair wool. So on nicer uh, hammers, like these Renner Blue Points, this wool is very long. Um, and the reason that they go after that, they pay more for it, is because it allows us to have a continuous flow of material all the way around the hammer. Now, entry-level hammers, um, we're talking about kind of more of this Asian uh, market kind of budget pianos. They don't want to pay as much for wool, so they get the shorter hair wool. Well, how do you get short hair wool to wrap around a hammerhead? Is you glue it. So when piano technicians come to a hammer, we're going to do things like needle, we're going to shape the hammer differently, and when we shape it, we're basically sanding this felt. If you sand the felt of a nice hammer like this, you're going to end up with kind of this pile of wool. If you shape the felt on an entry-level hammer, you're going to end up with powder. Well, that powder is happening because the fibers are super, super short and they're mainly glue. So basically that hammer is just a big pile of glue with some felt and wool in there. And that's why it comes off kind of like a, like a powder as opposed to a felt, like a, a pile of soft, wooly, what you would imagine coming out of a pillow. But that's basically the difference between um, kind of entry-level hammers and higher-end hammers. Um, obviously with higher end hammers, it allows the technician to do a whole lot more to the hammer itself. We can needle it, we can make it brighter, we can make it warmer, we can kind of go back and forth. Lower end hammers, we're limited a whole lot more. But anyways guys, if you guys have any more questions about uh, hammers and how they affect the tone and the sound of a piano, always feel free to shoot us an email. You can email our instructors directly at David or Adam at Piano Technician Academy, or you can email me, um, I'm a student coordinator at Michael at pianotechnicianacademy.com. Thanks for watching, guys.